Hi there, I'm Tara Kessner. Welcome to this flow yoga class. It's my, I always promise my live classes that, oh, we've got a flow class coming up and then I always seem to put something else in there. So this is the flow class that I have been teaching recently to my live classes. I hope you enjoy it. It has a lot of balance. It has a lot of movement. Uh, it will make you feel a little uncoordinated at times, but after you've done it a couple of times and you get the sequence down, you will really find that it's a fun class to do. So if you like it, I would love it if you would take just a second and click that red box down there that says subscribe. I promise you, you will never have to pay anything for these videos. They are absolutely free. Just subscribing to the channel helps promote this channel on the YouTube platform and you will have my eternal gratitude. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start out seated, some sort of cross-legged variation. Just take a second to close your eyes, center yourself. We're gonna have a lot of movement, so let's just take one minute here to take three slow breaths. Here we go, let's do it together, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Start to blink your eyes open. Take your hands behind you. With a nice slow inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And as you exhale, bring it on down. Inhale it up. Exhale, open mouth, exhale down. One more time, inhale it up. Exhale it down. This time, bring the hands halfway up, shoulder height, thumbs up. Begin to move the hands back as you open up through the chest, lift the chin. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and then turn your thumbs down. Begin to bring your hands forward, lightly interlacing the fingers. Lower your chin. Begin to reach out, rounding the back. And then slowly bring the hands up and overhead. Relax the shoulders down off of the ears and begin to lean to your left. Let that left hand come down onto the ground. Press into the mat as you reach, reach, reach. You're all in your side body right now. Let's take it into the back by looking down at your hand that's on the ground. Begin to roll that top shoulder forward, reaching off on the diagonal, all in that lat muscle. And then with a big inhale, start to roll that shoulder back up as you look up at that extended arm. Let the hand float back behind you and then drop the hand straight down. Bring your other hand across and onto your knee and let's take a seated twist. Sit up tall, look behind you and then bring it back to the front. Let's try that sequence again. Bring your hands halfway up. Now move your hands back out of the peripheral vision. Open up across the chest. Turn the thumbs down. Bring the hands forward, letting the fingers hook together and then lower your chin to your chest as you reach out, long rounding the back. With a slow inhale, sit up tall, arms up overhead, relax your shoulders. Now begin to lean to your right. Let that right hand drop on down to the mat. Reach, reach, reach. Look down. Begin to roll the shoulder forward, reaching off onto the diagonal. And then inhale. Sweep that hand up and back, reaching back. Feel that pec attachment where your arm attaches to your chest. Drop your hand straight down to the ground. Bring the other hand across onto your knee. Sit up tall, take a breath in. And as you exhale, seated twist, look behind you. <sighs> Inhale back to the center. Let's try that as a flow. One breath, one movement. Inhale, hands halfway up. Turn the thumbs down as you exhale, hands forward. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, lean to your left. 
and drop that hand down. Take a breath in as you reach in here, side stretch, and then blow it out as you roll that shoulder forward. Inhale, float it up and back. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, sit up tall, hand comes across, blow it out strong as you look behind you. Bring it back to the center one more time through. Inhale, hands halfway up. Turn the thumbs down, exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, lean to your right. Let that hand drop down. Take a breath in as you reach in a little deeper, and then blow it out as you roll the shoulder forward. Inhale, float it up and back. Exhale, drop it to the ground. Sit up tall on the inhale, bring the hand across, exhale as you look behind you, seated twist. Bring it back to the center and lift your knees up. Reach through your knees, grab a hold of the fronts of the shins, tuck your tail under, lower your chin into your chest and lean back. Bilateral lat stretch. Just hold on tight, you don't roll on your back like a turtle. With the inhale, sit up tall, lift the center of the chest. Let's go back into that seated cat stretch on the exhale. Blow it out. And bring it back up to the center. Let's come on over to all fours. We are heading to child's pose. So take the knees wide. Big toes close. Settle hips into the heels. Find that resistance shift around, get lower. Lower down onto the forearms, maybe head to the mat or maybe stack up the fists. And just notice where that tension is in your legs. It might be in the fronts of your ankles or your knees or your quads. Wherever it is, use the exhale to try to release some of that tension. From this child's pose. Let's come on up to all fours. Bring your knees in under the hips, hands under the shoulders. Begin to drop the belly down as you lift the face. Take a breath in, cow pose. As you exhale, tuck the tail, lower the head, draw chin into chest, cat stretch. Inhale, back into cow. Exhale into cat stretch. Push the ground away. One more like that. Inhale. Cow pose. Exhale. Round it out. Cat stretch. From this cat stretch, keep your hands where they are. Begin to sink the hips back towards the heel. Child's pose. Extended child's pose. You'll feel it coming up through the triceps and across the shoulders. And we're going to put those three poses together following the breath. Here we go. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to child's pose. Exhale into that tension you feel in your legs. Again. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. <sighs> Inhale to child's pose. And blow it out here. <sighs> One more time. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale, sink it back, child's pose. Blow it out here. <sighs> Come back up to all fours and bring your chest down right on top of your thumbs. A stretch your legs out long. Big toes are close to one another. Elbows are in tight to the side. I know the arms feel a little weird, but this is where they should be. Press into the tops of your feet. Lift your knees just an inch or so off the ground. Now with a slow inhale, begin to peel the chest up, cobra pose. Gaze is just beyond the mat. And then exhale, lower it back down. Let's do that with the breath. Think of it as priming the muscles of the back. Inhale, peel up, cobra. 
exhale, lower it down. Keep reaching through the toes. One more time, inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower it down. Now push yourself up and off the ground, coming into all fours. Just walk your knees up under you. And extend your left leg out behind you. Roll out the ankle a little. Kick the lemon tree. Bend your knee. Lift your face. Take a breath in. And with the exhale, bring your knee and nose towards one another, rounding the back, pushing the floor away. Inhale, kick it back up. Look up. Exhale, crunch it down. One more like that. Inhale, lift and kick. Exhale, crunch it and suck the belly button in. And pause. Put that knee down onto the mat. Lift the right knee up and we're gonna step the right foot forward, inching the toes forward, making our way into a low lunge, stacking the knee over top of the ankle, untucking that back toe and begin that crawl up the front leg. And go ahead and Roll the shoulders up into the ears, back and down. Let your arms drop down by your sides. Turn your thumbs out, palms forward. Draw the shoulder blades together. Keep the gaze level, but lift the center of the chest. Take a breath in. As you exhale, sink into the hips. Two more like that, inhale. Exhale, sink in. One more, inhale. Blow it out here, and then bring the hands above the head. Now you can just look straight ahead, just lengthening the lever a little, or if you want more, look up. If you still want more, move the hands back. We're going to take three breaths here. There's one. Oh, relax through the shoulders, sink in on the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, blow it out slow, look straight ahead, little core and coordination. So we're going to begin to reach the right hand forward and then cartwheel the arms, left hand to the mat, right hand continues to swoop up and into revolved lunge. Let's reverse our way out of that, we're going to do that three more times, actually two more times, three times total. So reach the right hand back and slowly bring yourself back up to that lunge. When you're ready, right hand forward, left hand to the mat, sweep it up, reach up, look up, and then reach it back. Bring the arms up and overhead. One more time, right hand forward, Left hand to the mat, sweep it around, reach up, look. Bring it back to that lunge. And pause. Hands to the mat. Back to all fours. And we'll extend the right leg out behind you. Roll the ankle. Bend the knee. Lift your foot. If you need a little more, lift your face. Look up. Take a breath in. Blow it out strong ah, as you bring knee and nose towards one another. Inhale, kick and lift. Exhale, crunch it in. One more time. Inhale, kick it up, look up. Exhale, crunch it in and hold. Place that knee down on the mat. Lift the left knee up and step the left foot forward. Help it out with your hand if you need to. Work the toes forward, knee and ankle in alignment, and then begin the ascent up the leg. When you get there, roll the shoulders up into the ears, back and down. Turn the thumbs out so the heads of the shoulders can open. Lift the chest towards the chin, looking straight ahead. Three breaths, here we go. Inhale, blow it out. Inhale. Blow it out. <sighs> One more. There we go. Blow it out. <sighs> and then hands above the head. And keep a bend in the elbow. 
You can reach up tall. You can look straight ahead. You can look up. Or you can move those hands back and really sink in. Nice juicy stretch in that quad, and that hip flexor area on the right side. Three breaths. There's one. Relax on the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Ah. Start that sweep into revolve lunge. Left hand first. Slow on the first one. Left hand comes down, right hand to the mat. Sweep the left hand up and around. Revolve lunge. Nice and slow. Make the core do the work. Reach back with the left hand. Sweep it up. Come back up to that lunge and pause. Let's do it just a tiny bit faster. Left hand forward. Sweep it around. Inhale it up. Exhale. Bring it back up to lunge. One more time. Left hand forward. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Bring it back up. Nice job. Hands to the mat. Back to all fours. Begin tucking the toes under. Lift one knee and then the other. Drop your head. And begin to lift the hips up. Into downward facing dog. Focus on the lower leg here. Start to pedal out the heels. Focusing on the feet, the ankles, the calves. Moving from one foot to the other or bending one knee generously, pressing into the opposite heel and hold. And then the other side. And when that feels done, begin to shuffle the feet up, bringing knees up and under the belly. Let the belly rest on the legs. Drop your head and begin to sway it out from side to side. Ragdoll. And you can keep the arms long or you can grab opposite elbows and really hang over the legs. But eventually, you'll fade the momentum of this sway, and you'll become still in the center. And you'll drop the hands if they're lifted. You bring the hands up onto the shins. You'll push into the shins as you come to a halfway lift. Let's see what we're dealing with with the hamstrings today. How tight are they? If you have to get your hands up here. To keep the legs straight and the back flat, that is fine. Or maybe you can be at the knees or the fronts of the ankles, wherever you can hold that form. And then rebend the knees, slide back down, drop your head. With an inhale, slowly take the arms wide and rise up to standing. Reach up there, relax your shoulders. And begin to drop the left hand down and start leaning to the left lateral half moon variation if you'd like a little more your right foot you can step it back and onto the floor off of the mat it'll engage that psoas muscle the deep muscle that runs from the front of the body to the back and bring it back to the center Reach that left hand up, drop the right hand down, begin to lean to the right, stay here, or step the left foot back, engage a little more deeply, and breathe, and step it back up to the top, sweep that right arm up, look up and let the hands begin to fall away from one another as you lift the center of the chest, back bend. Reach it up, bend your knees, swan dive down over the legs. Steady yourself here as you step back to downward facing dog. With an inhale, lift the left leg up behind you. And then bend that knee and step it onto the mat. Spin the back foot flat, the toes turned out about a 45 degree angle, then push off of that front foot as you rise up to standing. 
bringing the arms up and overhead, warrior one. Shift around in this first time through. And then we're going to look to the right, open up the hips, level off the arms, adjust the back foot, come to warrior two. And then flip that front palm. With an inhale, left hand to the ceiling, right hand down, reverse warrior, still sinking in to that front leg. And then cartwheel hands to the ground, framing that front foot as you step back to downward facing dog. With an inhale, hinge it forward into plank, nice and slow, top of a push-up. You're welcome to drop to your knees. As you exhale, begin to bend your elbows, lowering partway or all the way down. On the inhale, cobra, we've done that before, or reach forward at the center of the chest, roll over the toes, push everything off the mat, upward facing dog. One way or another, make your way back to downward facing dog, either through all fours, or just lifting the hips back up. Let's lift the right leg up behind you. Swing the knee towards the chest, step the foot onto the mat, spin the back foot flat. With an inhale, rise up to warrior one, hips squared forward, and then begin to open up to the left to warrior two, adjust the back foot. Level off the arms, gaze forward, flip the front palm, inhale, reverse, warrior, and then blow it out slow as you bring the hands to the mat, adjusting that back foot, stepping it up to the top, inhale to a halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, rise up to standing. On the exhale, drop that left arm down. Begin to lean to the left. Step the right foot back. Inhale to the center. Drop the right hand. Lean to the right. Maybe step that foot back. If it's too much, skip it. Bring it back to the center. Inhale, look up. Exhale, back bend. Separate the hands. Lift the center of the chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, dive down over the legs. Step it back to downward facing dog. With an inhale, lift that left leg up. As you exhale, step that foot onto the mat, spin the back foot flat. Inhale, rise up to warrior one. And as you exhale, open up to warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step it back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, come into plank on the toes of the knees. As you exhale, lower part way or all the way down. On the inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And then make your way back to downward facing dog. Take it to the right side. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step that foot onto the mat. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat. Square your hips little bounce in the back foot, step it to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, lean left. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean right. Inhale, center. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, dive it down. Step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step the foot to the mat, spin the back foot flat. 
Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step it back to down dog. And with a big slow inhale, come to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step on the mat. Spin the foot flat. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands to the ground. Lift up that back heel. Step it to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, let the belly rest on the thighs. Into that rag doll, let your head bobble. Tuck your chin in. Make sure the neck is very long. And then steady yourself with your fingertips. Begin to walk your feet back to downward facing dog for our second sequence. Begin by lifting the left leg up behind you. Now start to look under your left arm. And turn your hips so they open up, turning your belly button towards the long edge of the mat. Bend that left knee if it feels good. Resist the urge to bend that right elbow. Now square your hips back to the mat. Begin to look up between your thumbs. Bring your knee into your chest and step your foot onto the ground. Low lunge. You can shift around here a little, make some adjustments. And then either crawl up that leg or take the arms wide and rise up to high lunge. Got a little balance work coming here. We'll do it slow for this first round and then we'll speed it up in the second round. So we're coming to one-legged mountain. Hinge forward at the waist, drop your arms. Drag your back foot up and lift your right knee up in front of you. Kind of lean back slightly, turn the thumbs out. Now we're going to step that right foot back as far as it'll go. Let it land naturally, straighten out your front leg, and sweep your left hand up, 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 reverse triangle. Begin inching your toes forward on your left foot. Now start to bend your knee. Don't change your gaze. Keep looking up. Stack the knee above the ankle, and then bring that forearm down to rest on the thigh. Sweep the right arm up, or maybe over, side angle, your choice. And then reverse warrior, big trip. Cartwheel the arms back to reverse warrior. And then hands to the mat, just to steady yourself. Adjust your back foot. Move it forward slightly, turn it out, warrior one legs. We've been here before. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Hips are squared to the front of the mat. We're gonna move into another balance pose, airplane. Reach forward, sweep the arms down and back, palms to the ceiling, shift the weight into the front foot. Maybe balance on your toe or lift that back leg away. Airplane pose. Slowly bring that foot back down. Big toe is turned out to the long edge of the mat. Come back to warrior two. Flip the front palm. Reverse your warrior. And bring the hands down to the mat. Step it back to downward facing dog. You can take a little break here in down dog. Or if you're here for the work, on the inhale, come to plank. On the exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog, your choice. And find your way back to downward facing dog. Let's take that to the right side. On the inhale, lift your right leg up. Begin to look under your right arm, turning your hips open to the side, maybe bending that knee. Square your hips back to the front. Draw your knee into your chest and step your foot on to the mat. Low lunge. When you're ready, sweep the arms wide or crawl up the leg. Come into that high lunge. Lift and lower the back heel. Settle in. Don't be a statue. Moving from here 
to one-legged mountain. Lean forward, drop the hands, drag that back foot, lift that knee, left knee up in front of you, turn the thumbs out, open up through the chest. Big step back with that left foot. Let it land however it wants, straighten out the front leg, reach the right hand up, and lean back. Reverse triangle. Now start to inch your toes forward on that right foot. Begin to bend that knee, stacking it over top your ankle. Now bring the forearm down to rest on the thigh. Side angle. Sweeping up or over, if that's your preference. And then back to reverse warrior. All right, well, hands to the mat. Just enough that you can adjust your back foot. Warrior one feet. With an inhale, rise up, warrior one. Airplane is next. Hinge forward. Drop the hands. Put all the weight into this right foot and begin to lift the back toe away. Maybe just a little or maybe a lot. Let's bring it back to warrior two. And flip that front palm. Reverse your warrior. And then Cartwheel the hands forward and onto the mat. Stepping back to downward facing dog. End of sequence. We're going to try that one breath, one movement. Try to have some fun with it. Don't get too caught up in the breath work. Here we go. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, look under that left arm. Blow it out, open that hip. Inhale, square the hips back. Look between your thumbs. Exhale, foot to the mat, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, one-legged mountain, drag that back foot forward. Inhale, step it back onto the mat and sweep that arm up, reverse triangle, inch to the toes forward, exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the ground. Adjust your back foot. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale into airplane. Shift it forward, lift your back foot. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, hands to the ground. Step it back. Blow it out here, downward facing dog. Rest here on the inhale, come to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. One more time through, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, look under the arm, open the hip. Inhale, square the hips back. Exhale, step the foot onto the mat, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, one-legged mountain. Drag that foot up. Lift the knee in front of you. As you inhale, step it back. Reverse triangle, straighten out that front leg. Inch the toes forward, blow it out as you come into side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat. Adjust your back foot. On the inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse, warrior. Inhale, hands to the mat. You made it. Step it back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels. Shake out your head. And begin to shuffle the feet forward. One more little bit of work here. Start to tick-tock the feet in, resting the belly on the tops of the thighs, squeezing the knees together. Bring the hands to the knees. Push your torso off of your legs, coming into chair pose. Tuck and untuck your tail till you feel that engagement in the low core, those deep Core muscles. We're going to get into the transverse abdominis, the twisting motion. 
So, remove your supports here, reach your hands out in front, reaching back with your tailbone, knees are pinched together. Look to the left. Sweep that left arm down and back. Open your shoulders to the left edge of the mat. Inhale, bring it back to the center. Blow it out slowly as you sweep the right hand down and back. Open the arms up, mimic the long edge of the mat. Bring it back to the center. Float the hands down to the ground, drop your head. Play around with flexing your legs. And we'll do that again. Bring your knees underneath your belly, let your belly rest. Sit the hips back and down. Bring the hands up onto the knees and push yourself into that deep chair pose. Squeezing knees together, reach out in front of you, take a breath in. As you exhale, sweep the left arm down and back. Inhale to the center. Exhale right. And open it up. Inhale to the center. Float the hands down to the ground. One more break. Drop your head. Play around with straightening the legs. It may not happen today. But just find something that relieves the tension from that chair pose. One more time. We're going to flow three times on each side this time. Sit the hips down and back. Maybe a little lower because you know it's the end. A little bit of work here. Hands to the knees. Push yourself into that chair. Tuck and untuck. Engage all of the core. And then reach the arms out. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, sweep the left arm down and back. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Sit lower. Last one. Blow it out to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Hands to the ground. Drop your head. Tick tock your feet out. Little toes hanging off the edge of the mat. We're going to sway it out. Oh, one side to the other. Telling your low back to loosen up a little bit. That's a lot of work. Drop your head, maybe grab opposite elbows. Wide-legged ragdoll. Nice job. And start to come to stillness in the center and drop your hands. Tick-tock your feet back in, about hip distance apart. And then bend your knees, slide your hands up onto your knees and push yourself about halfway up. Begin to gently tuck your tail under, it should feel good. Standing cat stretch. Then lift your face, reach back with your tailbone, standing cow. Let's do that with the breath. Breath in here. Exhale, standing cat stretch. Inhale, standing cow. Exhale, standing cat. Neutralize the low spine. Look to your right. And begin to look all the way around behind you, pushing your left knee away with your left hand. Inhale back to the center. Look to the left. Push the right knee away with the right hand. Drop that shoulder down. Back to the center. Let's do that three times with the breath. Breath in. Exhale, look right. Inhale, center. Exhale, look left. Inhale, center. Exhale, look right. Inhale, center. Exhale, look left. Last two. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. You made it back. To the center, slide your hands down your legs. Walk your hands forward a bit. Walk your feet back into downward facing dog. Moving into pigeon. Now, if you know that you prefer to do pigeon on your back, you head there. The rest of you follow me by lifting the left leg up. Doesn't have to be high, just want it to be straight. Bend the knee, bring it down to the mat right behind the left wrist and kick that foot in under you a little more. Lower your back knee down, untuck that back toe. Now, look to the left and really lengthen out through that straight leg. 
You might have to adjust the heel if it's hitting you in an indelicate spot. And then look back forward. Begin to lower down closer and closer to the mat, coming down onto the forearms. Tucking chin into chest, take a breath in as you round the back, subtly lifting up and out of the heel or the hips. And as you exhale, ah, settle back in. Now find a way to support your head, whether that means bringing your hands to your head or bringing your head to your hands, or maybe head all the way down onto the mat. Now we're going to be here for about a minute. If you got here and you thought, this is the most uncomfortable thing I have felt in a long time, you're going to try this on your back, which is where I sent everybody who knew what they were getting into. So you'll come onto your back with your knees bent. You'll take your left ankle onto your right hip, or right hip, or your hip, yes, onto your knee. That's a good trick. And you'll lift your feet up, guiding your legs into your chest, maybe reaching through that triangle and interlacing. You're still getting this external rotation in the knee, external rotation, knee, knee is externally rotated, and your floor, forward flexion is created by drawing your legs in instead of face down. So just stay here. We have got about another 30 seconds or so here. So close your eyes and start to focus on your exhales. Really blow the air out. Allow yourself to settle in. One more breath. And if you're face down, when you finish that breath, begin to make your way up onto your hands. If you're on your back, just stay there for another breath or two. Lean to your left and bring your feet up. If you're on your back, come to seated with the soles of the feet together. In bound angle. So in bound angle, the legs are shaped like a diamond. You're sitting up tall, you're resting your hands along the fronts of your shins wherever you can. And you're holding onto the legs as you lift the center of the chest up and then begin to hinge forward with a nice flat back. Keep your chin lifted. Bound angle is about the outer hips. So you're leaning in, you're not rounding the back. And just hold on to that. Big slow exhale. And then we'll come on up. We've got to go back to pigeon pose. So either head to your back, right ankle onto left knee this time, or follow me to downward facing dog. As you make your way back up to downward facing dog, you'll lift the right leg up. Doesn't have to be high, you're just lining up the ankle, the knee, and the hip joint and then bend that knee. Bring it down onto the mat near the right wrist. So right knee to right wrist, kind of like a twister. Drop that back knee, untuck that back toe. Look over your right shoulder to really lengthen out through the front of the left hip. And then look back to the front. Come down onto the elbows. Take a second to tuck your chin into your chest. Take a big breath in as you Round out, puff up through the upper back, and then blow it out slow as you sink and settle into those hip joints. Now find a way to support your head. Hands to the head or head to the hands. Coming on down. Make your way in. Close your eyes. If you're on your back, try to let your shoulders relax back. Don't pull on your legs so much that the fronts of your shoulders are coming up. Let your chest open up and gently draw the legs towards the chest, but not so much that you look like a roly-poly bug. We're going to stay here for another 30 seconds, so just close your eyes and breathe.
breath here. Really complete and thorough exhale. And start to make your way on up onto your hands. Drop to the right. Bring that back leg up. If you're on your back, come on to a seated position. Once again, bring the soles of the feet together. Bring them in a little closer this time. Let the knees come up and do whatever they want. Don't try to force the legs down. Slide your hands down the shins until there's a comfortable place, depending on the length of your arms. Now you have two options here. Begin to tuck your tail under. You can either lean back like we did in that first series, dropping chin into chest. And let the tail tuck. Or you can, keeping the tail tucked, begin to lean forward, letting your head drop, letting your knees do what they want to do. Just taking the muscles along the side of the spine into their fullest extension. Whichever version you've chosen, take a nice slow breath in. And exhale. And lift your head and sit on up. Let's come on to our backs. So as you come on to your back, please keep your knees bent, feet on the mat. And just drop your knees from side to side, massaging out the base of the spine. Between the tailbone and the L5 vertebrae is the sacrum. And that's what you're rocking across right now as the knees come through the center, gently press into the floor, and then drop the knees on over. And then do that as many times as you need to, eventually lifting your feet, resting your hands on your knees, rocking across the lumbar region, right? Just below the waistband of the pants, probably, depending on how high waisted your pants are. Stay there as long as you need to, but eventually adjusting the grip to the back of the thighs, lifting the feet a little, hugging the knees into the chest, and rock across those back ribs, thoracic, right, the T10, 11, and 12 vertebrae. And then become still. Release some of the grip on the back of the legs. Let the entire spine come on to the mat. Now rock your head a few times trying to release the cervical vertebrae, letting them understand the, the floor is there. It's got you. Your spine is not weight-bearing, and the sooner it understands that, the quicker it will let those muscles relax and release. Go ahead and interlace the fingers around the front of the left knee. Hug it in tight as you extend your right leg out long, pointing your toe and lowering it to about six inches above the ground. Point, 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 reach as far as you can with that leg and then let the foot drop down. Relax your foot, relax your leg. Hug that knee in a little closer to the left ribs. And breathe. Exhale, relax your shoulders a little. And then bring that right knee up and in. Adjust the grip, hold on to the front of the right knee, hug it in, extend the left leg out long, point the toe, point, 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 we're debunching that quad muscle. Lower it, let it hover above the floor as you reach out as long as you can and then let it go, let it drop. You can hug the knee in a little closer to the ribs and breathe. And that left knee back up and in. Let your arms drop out to the side, palms facing up. And begin to drop your knees over to the right. Let your legs make it all the way over to the floor. Freeform it. Don't be too rigid. Now look at your left arm. If it's hovering slightly above the ground, adjust your legs until that forearm can rest back down on the ground. Let your head rock to the left slightly. And close your eyes. Take your attention to the places where your body is touching the floor. The backs of the shoulders, the hip, the outside of the ankle, the knees, outside of the calf maybe. 
And take a couple of slow breaths here. Just really acknowledging the support of the floor under your body. Let's lift that left knee up and let the right knee follow it back to the center. Same thing to the other side. Drop the knees over to the left. And look at your right arm. If it's hovering, adjust your legs until that arm can come back. And close your eyes. Once again, scanning where your body is touching the floor, the back of the head, the shoulders, the back of your knuckles, your forearms. All those places, just check in briefly with each one. Send that message from the brain to the body that you are fully supported by the floor and it is okay for those muscles to let go. Take one last breath here. Blow it out slow. <sighs> Lift that right knee up. Let the left follow. Sweep your arms up and around the fronts of the shins as you hug the knees and in tightly into your ribs. Flex your feet. Now begin to lift your head up, forehead towards the knees. Squeeze everything tightly into a ball for one breath. Inhale. And on the exhale, let it all go. Reach the arms up overhead and the legs out long. Stretch through the fingers and the toes. Ah. <sighs> And as you exhale, come to position for final relaxation. Bring your hands down and rest them on your belly or drop them out to the side. Take a second to lift your chest and adjust your shoulder blades. Separate the feet wider than the hips. Let the toes fall out to the side or walk the feet back onto the mat, propping the knees against one another. And close your eyes. I'm just going to stay here for about 60 to 90 seconds. And just rest. Begin to deepen your breath. Gently draw in a full breath. And then blow it out like you're blowing out a candle, soft and slow through pursed lips. And start to wiggle your toes. Bend your knees and walk your feet back onto the mat if they're not already. And then begin to lazily drop your knees to one side, and up through the center and to the other. A couple of times to wiggle your fingers, your right arm, slide it out onto the floor and up to about the height of your shoulder. And the next time that the knees drop to the right, allow yourself to be rolled over onto your right side. Use that arm as a pillow or cradle your head in your hands. And just get comfortable here on your side. Close your eyes. We'll stay here for about 30 seconds. Whenever you feel ready, open your eyes and begin to press yourself on up to a comfortable seated position. And 
Let's roll the shoulders up, back and down. Begin to drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Tuck your chin in a little closer to your chest. Take a breath in. Open mouth, exhale, blow it out slow. Float your head up and through the center. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Draw your chin a little closer to your chest. Take a breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Ah. Nail it back to the center. Walk your hands behind you. Lift the center of your chest. As you lean into your fingertips, lift your chin. And then back to a neutral spine. One more breath in as you sweep the arms up and overhead. Pressing the palms together, look up there. And as you exhale, bring the hands down the center line. And thank you so much for joining me today for this little flow class. Namaste.